What's up, family? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Now, before I start this video, I want to announce that tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or GMT minus 7, we will be doing a live broadcast with myself, O2B, and Lanky Progress. So you can come in and ask us any questions. I know that a lot of stuff has been happening lately. There's a lot to clarify. You guys can come in and ask anything. It's on my channel tomorrow. Don't miss it. Also, I will pre-warn you that if you're on a cell phone, you're on a mobile, you're not allowed to leave comments. It's just how YouTube works. You can't leave comments on live broadcasts with your cell phone. So get on your computer, come ask us questions. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, this video is, a lot of times people post these unedited videos and I don't often do that. So this is going to be something different for you guys. This is going to be a whole video of me talking. So I'm sorry if that's going to kill you, but I wanted to just I just wanted to clarify, clear the air for you guys, you know, let you guys know what's really happening. Because there's all these comments going on, there's all this speculation going on, and there's all these people who are making up what's happening. You know, they're like telling people like, oh, this is this is how it is, this is how you guys don't know. So I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to clarify it for you guys. That's what I'm trying to do. Basically, the first the first thing that people are saying a lot in comments is, hey Brian, O2B has passed you up in subscribers. Are you mad? Are you jelly? Why would I be mad or jealous? Let me tell you guys a little story. Me and John Glaude met at the gym. He came up to me, uh, man, this was a while ago, maybe like five, six months ago. He came up to me and was like, hey, man, I've seen you on YouTube. And I was like, oh, dude, you're the obese to beast kid. At the time, had something like maybe like 13, 14,000 followers on Instagram. And I was like, oh, man, I really appreciate what you're doing because, you know, I try to motivate people, but I don't have that ability to do what you do. So, the fact that you can motivate the type of people that you can motivate, I'm just, I'm stoked on that. And I gave him a big hug, you know, I was like, you're awesome, stuff. And he was like, no, 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 dude, you're awesome. So we were actually like, you know, flirting with each other from the very beginning, no homo. And I was just like, man, this kid's really cool. The idea of, of uh, what he has to give and what he has to offer is amazing. What he has is something that I don't have. The people that I can motivate are different people than he can motivate and he can motivate so many more of them because I don't have a fat loss transformation story so I can't help people who need that motivation from starting obese and then changing their bodies I can help people in general motivation in life motivation being positive person looking at things in a positive outlook but you know some people need specific things and because I can't give that motivation to those people, the best way for me to reach more people, to help more people, which is really my goal, it really is my goal, is to help him reach people, right? So I made a, I made a John's YouTube channel, I think like two weeks after I met him, right? And I was like, man, you should really make YouTube videos. Uh, if you have a great story, you have a, a great personality, you're a nice guy, people would really enjoy watching you. So I set up his YouTube channel, I made uh, some of his first videos, got him set up on the whole vlogging cell phone thing, and so while I was producing videos with my camera under this lighting, the same lighting and camera that you saw the loose skin video itself in, um, he was also starting to learn these vlogs, and so then his channel became kind of a vlogging and has a little bit of like well-produced content. And then the other week came over, we've been talking about this forever, we've been talking about the loose skin video forever. We wanted to wait until he had a little bit more of a following, and we wanted to make sure he was comfortable. I mean, not comfortable to the point that it was not a problem, but like comfortable enough that, you know, he wanted to make the video, and he did. He called me up, he was like, hey man, I'm ready to make this video. I'm ready to help people with this. I'm ready to show off the skin. Um, I, I, I just, something's ready. I'm just, it's just clicking for me. I'm ready to do this. So we came over, we shot it in this, I'm telling you, man, this is the backdrop. This is the 5 million views backdrop. The 5 million views lights. The 5 million views room, son. It's a 5 million views. Sorry, I'm, I'm excited. I'm a little excited. He went from 2,000 subscribers to 32,000 subscribers. I'm just saying. Anyways, we recorded in here and we were like, man, this was, this was awesome. At the end of it, I was, I, I literally had tears in my eyes. He, he, the reason I had tears in my eyes, it, it was because he has such an emotional story in the first place. You know, he's telling you about how he's always had this loose skin and he's always had to, you know, be mindful of it and be uncomfortable about it. In the first place, that, that already kind of tugged on me a little bit. I got my, my emotions going. But then I was thinking, as I was filming and I was focusing on him and shooting him, I was thinking, man, a lot of people are going to see this. I thought hundreds of thousands, not millions, hundreds of thousands. I said, man, a lot of people are going to see this, and this is going to change a lot of people lives, people's lives. Not just, you know, kind of, I mean, this is going to change people's lives. 
People are going to see this. They're going to start their journey. And then in a year or two time, people are going to come up to O2B and they're going to be like, hey, man, remember that loose skin video you made? I was so uncomfortable with myself and I just didn't ever feel like losing the weight because I didn't want to see what would happen or whatever it is. And I started because of you. I thought about this and I was like, wow, man, there's so many people going to get help. And I just, I couldn't help it. I was just crying, man. And it was so hard to see the camera and I was, you know, crying. And then at the end of it, after he says, see you guys later or peace out guys. He's like, how was that, man? And I was like, can give me a second? <laughs> you can't give me, you got me. <laughs> he was like, really? I got you? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. And I was like, hey, but don't apologize, man. Like I can just tell that that, that was it, man. Like that hit, I didn't think it was going to go viral like the way it has, but I knew it was going to get 100, 200, 3,000, 300,000, something like that views. Then I woke up the next morning and I heard Ashton Kutcher had shared it. And then I just see all these posts on Facebook. It's crazy. So there's story time. That's how, I, that's how, it's, how it's happened. I can't even talk. Uh, and then for the last few days, O2B has been hanging out. Well, at least for the first 48, 72 hours, we were hanging out like the whole time like oh crap here this place posted uh, here this person's calling let's make this video let's get this picture done and so we just started really working on the channel now I'm starting to um, really work on some of his imagery uh, I'm producing some of his videos for him we're working on a, a lot of stuff we got a clothing line coming for O2B yep we got an ebook coming a lot of stuff that I'm putting a lot of work into O2B is putting a lot of work into we have a lot of stuff coming in it's gonna be very exciting now this brings me to the next question that I'd like to address this is the second most asked question in all the YouTube comments that I see on his on mine and it's is Brian going to try and ride the coattails of your fame John that's I can see that all the time and it's funny because the pers you guys I mean you guys you guys can't know you you can't know what's going on because you, you aren't living with us you don't get to talk to us behind the scenes but every time someone leaves something like that John's like he says the same thing he says he says, how do these people, like, how do people not know that you helped me make this video? He's extremely adamant about about giving me credit, and, and, and it's just amazing. Because a lot of people, they wouldn't do that. They, you know, they'd be like, oh, yeah, he helped me maybe make the video, but, like, it was all me. It's just me. Like, you know, he helped me make the video. He's definitely always like, guys, did you know that Brian started my YouTube channel? Did you guys, did you guys know that Brian helped me make that video? He's not writing my coattails. Like, I'm, I want to help him. He always says he feels bad. He keeps telling me that he feels really bad that he's surpassed me in subscribers. He says, like, you know, he sees how much, like, work I put in. And he says it's not fair. He keeps saying it's not fair that he gets to have so many more subscribers than me. And, and, I, and I, that itself shows you what kind of a person he is, right? That shows you exactly what type of person he is. He's the type of person who is selfless and is not like, oh, I'm, I'm blowing up, I'm fame. He was like, oh man, I wish I could help you blow up more. Like, I, I owe you for this. I wish I could help you because you've helped me so much. He keeps sending me these text messages. This is my favorite thing, man. He sends me these text messages and he says, I want you to know, man, that like none of this would have happened without you. Like, I appreciate it. I really appreciate you, man. I want you to know that I, 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 I want to get you back for this. You're the one who started this. Like, it, that's why I chose John to help. You know, when he, when he, when I first met him, I was like, all right, you know, like I knew his story, and then I met him, and I was like, oh, all right, this kid is cool. After hanging out with him, after getting to know him, I was like, this kid's a good person. A good person inside, someone who's going to help me help him, and then we can help each other. This whole thing has just helped everyone. Now, a lot of people think that, like, I'm, like, I'm back here jealous and, like, hating on my friend's, like, success. But if you if you're a true friend, honestly, if you're an absolutely true friend, when your friend is experiencing success, when your friend gets success, you should be happy. If your friend is not happy for you when you when you have some success, then that's not your friend. Seriously. If your friend is jealous of you, mad, or wants you to have less success so that you're not so successful or famous or popular, that person's not your friend. That person is, is kind of a snake. I love John, man. I am so stoked. Every morning I'll text him, I'll be like, all right, man. 5.2 million views, 30,000 subs coming up. As he was getting up to my subs, he was like about halfway and he was like, no way, dude, I don't think I'm gonna pass you. And I was like, yeah, you're gonna pass me, bro. Like, I'm at 22, you're about to be at 24 in two days, you know? Watch him go over and I was all excited. Like, all these things are great. And this lets him 
grow as a person. This is changing his life. I'm honored to be a part of that. I'm honored to be a part of uh, the, the, the day that John Glaude went from working two jobs. Man, this kid works his ass off. Working two jobs and just grinding, grinding, getting things done and, and, and trying, man, to making it. Making it, man. Having a clothing line, having a channel, having a presence, being on television, getting these interviews, being recognized for the work that he's put in. I'm honored that I was a part of making that happen, that transition, you know, bringing light to a situation that had so much potential and so much motivation behind it, but then actually showing it to people. And now he's got his whole thing going on. And man, I'm just, I'm so ecstatic for him. And, and you guys, <laughs> I wish I could tell you, but like, the things coming up, man, the projects that we have planned for his channel, my channel, are working together. Everything is going to be so exciting. And the fact that he's growing helps me grow. And no, I'm not going to ride off his coattails. I'm not going to steal his followers. But I am going to help him with his content like I always have from the very beginning. And, you know, when he decides he wants to shout me, when he decides he wants to put links to me, when he wants to put, you know, annotations and whatnot, that's all up to him. That's all him, guys. So, I mean, like... As much as some of you might think, uh, you know, screw Brian, he's trying to steal subscribers and viewers or whatever, that's all him that does that. And I really appreciate that he's willing to give back to me. Definitely rambled a bit in this video. Um, I don't often get to do these talking videos, so it's really exciting when I can just talk to you guys, not worry about the editing, and just really get all my feelings out. And if you feel like watching this while you're doing cardio or something, then that's awesome. And it makes me happy that you actually made it through this video. Please, guys, please, if you made it this far in the video, for one, write fermented tofu. I love you guys. And number two, please show up to the live show. I'd really love to see you guys at the live show um, tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. There's going to be a lot of good questions for me and O2B. I love answering these. I love these shows. So please show up. It's going to be amazing. You can find the live show in the description below right there. Or if you forget all about that, you can go to the front page of my channel tomorrow and you'll see it as well. There'll be a timer at one hour out from the actual show so you can see how long the show has until it starts. So there it is guys, I just wanted to clarify some information between me and O2B, how we're working, how we started, how everything has happened, how this viral video has hit, what I'm thinking, everything, at least I thought I hit everything. If I haven't hit anything, please leave questions in the comments below, I will answer them. Also you can come to the live show tomorrow and ask even more questions. Thank you guys so much. Make sure that tomorrow you do go by your special shirts. Just and let's say, just a sneak peek. Just a small sneak peek. Get that. There's gonna be a bundle. You can get a sweatshirt, a shirt, a bag, and an unreleased bracelet. It's gonna be really cool and relatively cheap. I mean, for all that stuff, very cheap. All hand printed, uh, especially compared to some of the bigger companies, which I will not name. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Appreciate it. Please like and comment if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed me talking. And hey, if you guys like this type of video, not that I think a lot of people are going to be super stoked about an unedited long talking video, but if you do like this kind of video, I'm plenty, plenty down to do more Brian Rants videos. So just let me know. Thank you guys so much again. Team Beyond the Week, lift heavy or die migrant.